Hello my loves, welcome back to Bahati Life Apothecary, um, or Bahati Life YouTube, I'm so sorry. I do have items from my apothecary that I'm going to be sharing with you guys to allow you to choose a pile by what feels, what you can feel yourself resonating with, what do you need right now? And that is essentially the message of how we're going to be connecting with the guides. I'm going to be doing things a little differently this time. I haven't done this in a minute. But I have written down some channeled messages already, each one for each pile. So the red candle, the love and romance candle. However, I also have this copper crystal here that's almost like a lightning bolt is going to be pile number one. I hate calling them piles, but that is essentially what it is. For the pile number two or second candle, we have the nectar of life candle and this rose quartz crystal. And then for the third or last pile, we have this Deep Waters candle, which is one of my favorites, and this Quartz Crystal candle. Each reading has cards that are already shuffled and pulled for it. There are some channeled messages that I was already starting to pull into when I was shuffling the cards for you guys, but I can already pretty much tell that there's going to be more that's kind of going to come forward. So I have my pen here ready for each uh, candle pull or any each crystal pull it's up to you to kind of decide try not to choose by what is pretty try to go by your vibe really try to tap into your intuition if you can because I just feel like you'll get mo more out of it however if you guys decide that you want to listen to all of them which I'm hearing more and more that you guys love the readings you get so much from each message so you like to listen to all of them you can do that as well I'm not here to stop you. This is your this is your message. This is your time. This is our time together. This is my time given to you. So do with it what you will in the way that you will. That being said, I'm going to meet you guys at your time stamps, which will be down in the description box and also pinned in the comments. All right, my loves. So if you chose the red, I'm going to call this lightning bolt candle right now because that's what it is giving me. Um, even though this is love and romance candle, which is in my apothecary at the time of me filming this you guys um, My apothecary is not closed until September 27th because technically I'm supposed to be on hiatus for My birthday. I'm celebrating my solar return um, But if you need any items for example this candle Anything else for that matter after September 27th it will reopen. I, it's definitely giving me lightning bolt Oh my gosh, which makes so much sense because the message, one of the channel messages that I wrote down is the word kamikaze. Um, and then I wrote down, are you ready? Eyes on the sky. This doesn't feel bad. It feels, ooh. So it, one of my friends sent me a picture of what it looks like when how rare it is when lightning hits the sand and how when lightning hits the sand and this this uh, sculpture that that creates when that moment of impact occurs and I genuinely feel that spirit is wanting clearly the first cards that are jumping out right now for you are two of wands and queen of swords um hopefully you guys can see this if not i will tell you there is a hawk flying in the distance and one of the things that i wrote down is eyes on the sky two of wands is the card of looking out out into the beyond, out into the horizon, looking upwards, looking inwards, and being curious about what could potentially be out there, what can potentially be created, what can potentially occur. There's this really strong message on air right now. Um, air meaning what you hear, what you say, how you process things, how you're intellectualizing things. I feel like there is a message coming through for this pile. What do you need to hear right now? There's definitely something on the horizon coming forward. And what I'm hearing is that 
this could change your life forever. Um, King of Pentacles is here. I just, I don't want to say the word that I just heard because it could be taken, it could be misconstrued, but what Spirit was trying to tell me to tell you is that it feels like there's a delay. It feels like what you're waiting for or what, it's like something put it on hold. I'm definitely getting this energy of something has been putting it on hold or it's been put on hold or iced out or iced off especially with the Queen of Swords here as I'm even thinking about it she has this candle at her feet that's kind of blocked off and barricaded it's not lit and now that I'm thinking about it like why it feels like something definitely yes nine of cups and three of swords here Interesting. Um, what I'm feeling already, eyes on the sky. I just feel like, for some of you guys, I almost want to split this group into two. For some of you guys, there is, with the two of wands, you are, for the first half, you guys are going to want to look outward. Um, something about like not expecting anything but getting everything especially with the nine of cups a, a part of you has what spirit is showing me is that a part of you has almost become not hardened but you're prone to expecting delays you're prone to expecting obstacles opposition things not working out and so there's this there's this expectancy that whatever this is i'm definitely getting a strong sense of for for some it's it's movement it's movement it's like the ability to move from point a to point b into a better situation into a better outcome um for some of you guys it feels like you're not treading water but it feels like you're almost treading water and or you're just kind of maintaining status quo knowing that you deserve more you want more you've been hoping to manifest more king of cups speaking of treading water you've been hoping and wanting to manifest more um you've been really connecting with spirit connecting with the divine that's the second message is that for the other half i see you guys not looking out but looking within in that same level of expectation for disappointment is something that is realigning. I get this really strong sense of joy with that too. Realigning and shifting within you. It feels like the broken pieces of you are, or it's shattered. I heard the word shattered. The shattered pieces are starting to find their compartments, find their space, and find where they belong and fit into your world. So, and I'm hearing that years from now, looking back, this is so cliche, but years from now, you're going to look back at moments like this and understand that truly everything that has been happening to you wasn't really a punishment. It's not something to expect. It's not some, something about manifesting. Like you almost feel like if you think the best, you like whatever you'll get whatever it is that you want but you find that you don't like it like it feels like i manifested this 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 but then there i should have said this i wouldn't even thought to do that so you start to give up on manifesting you start to harden yourself and just kind of fall back and say you know what there's one thing to surrender to the universe there's one thing to surrender to the divine there's one thing to surrender to source but it almost feels like because of your past experiences with manifesting or praying or asking for what you want or asking for guidance whatever it is so it will show up, but it shows up in a way that something feels off, something feels broken. And this is in what your external expectations look like, and this is also internal. There's this really strong split here that I'm seeing within this, those who chose this candle, um, or who are gravitating towards this candle. The message is, is that some of you guys are looking out. So yes, of course, the future, and it's not 
it's it, I don't even want to say that you're looking for the future your future seems right now to be like more of a day-by-day -day process where you're actually kind of hesitant to manifest you're actually hesitant to you're you're hesitant to even pray or like ask for anything so right now you might be and there's nothing wrong with this but you might be in a position of just saying you know getting through the day or just practicing gratitude and not really asking anymore from your experiences spirit is saying that's all well and good um but we are about to drop something off <laughs> and i heard the word kamikaze i clearly wrote it down kamikaze are you ready eyes on the sky and the other thing is when i see when i hear the word eye on the sky what i'm also hearing is that there's some of you guys that are looking out again you stop looking so far to the future because you're looking at it day by day um you're more like on guard prepared for whatever is to come in so it's more defensive right i have a message for you shortly about that but for the rest of you the second half of this i just get this really strong feeling of eye on the sky for you is eye on the unlimited potential within yourself and spirit is saying that these broken aspects within you or these shattered moments these shadowed experiences we hate to call them lessons but essentially that's kind of what it is they 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 serve a purpose and sometimes those purposes are not clearly they're not the most easy things to stomach to accept or to ride through so i feel like you guys have been in a space lately where it's oh it's very meditative but not like an active meditation um just like how the first pile or the first section of this group they stopped trying to manifest for the future they're more like taking a day by day process um and just kind of being defensive on what comes through is kind of the meditative space that i see for those of you guys that are internal um you have been going through a lot the story is very um has many twists and turns the journey has many twists and turns definitely and instead of you wanting to aggressively get out and i i just feel this sense of like defining yourself or traveling or exploring there's more like a, sp a space of where you're you've been resting or you've been quiet or healing or dried out meaning just crying things out or releasing things or expressing things it's it has a lot to do with tremendous internal growth whether it be spiritual mental emotional this gives me very Saturn return type vibes where there's so much maturity that had to it happened from external things that triggered internal events yeah oh my goodness um we just got the Knight of Cups for you and the Three of Pentacles and spirit just makes me soar. My spirit soars so much when I see these for you guys because this is literally spirit's confirmation saying all of it, again, you're not going to be able to see it and understand it right now. There's wisdom that comes with time. Um, but look, it's there's this really strong sense of what you need to receive right now is the fact that truly... I know this is so cliche, but everything has served a purpose and everything has worked out and everything in divine order and everything in its time. And all of this is literally coming together like rocket fire, like lightning, like I said, and just molding together, merging together, melding together, um, forged together. I don't know if that's the right, like, like there, it's not forced. And I, I think, honestly, as I said, the word forced, it's like when you take two metals and you are, have been working on trying to get them to melt because you're trying to build something with it, it actually takes time for the heat to get hot enough for the, melt, for the metal to melt. And then you start to see them forging together. Some of you guys have felt that pile number the, the the first part of this group it's like you feel like you're manifesting your intentions your prayers or whatever it is that you've been speaking out it's like you'll get pieces of it but of and visions and signs and you'll see some things kind of coming together but then it's like something's missing or something is off or something falls apart or it creates some level of heartache or suffering and then the other of you guys there's this process of being melted down there's this process of being of time passing 
and you being changed and shifted from a really strong, solid identity or ego or experience into something totally vulnerable and totally open-hearted and totally different. I mean, it's this is such a shift. Spirit is saying either which whatever one you identify with or maybe both, there is a time that has to happen for the metal to melt. And that's when you're going to start to see things coming together in a way that is forced. And some of you guys feel like, I don't want to force anything anymore. And Spirit's like, that's the thing. It's like, you actually have not been forcing anything. You're not forcing this to come together. You're not forcing these aspects of your life to come together. This is actually us coming through and dropping it because time has shown itself. It, there has been a definite delay, a slow delay. I'm getting anywhere between one to three to five years. Five for very extreme, but for the most part, it's one to three years of just waiting for things to you know, cook. <laughs> and then you just starting to get like, damn, you know, but there's an awakening that's coming. There's an awakening that's happening, not of within you, <laughs> but within that, whatever that is. So now it starts to come forward. Now it starts to collaborate. Now it starts to, you're starting to see it and you're just like, okay, okay, I'm open. I'm listening. So spirit is telling you what you need to receive right now is the openness the crack openness, um, the vulner what happens when you are vulnerable, what happens when you are hurt, temperance card, this is exactly what it is I'm talking about. It's the, the merging of these two metals, the merging of these two things finally coming together because they were broken apart first. This is something that happens internally and this is something that happens externally or also both. Okay, so there's, and I just feel like, again, the wound is the strength, the wound is the space that the light enters, and because of what you have already lived through, grown through, been through, done, that's what actually has cracked you open to be able to receive what spirit is clearly bringing into your life and it just feels like such a good match what is this thing we have knight of wands we have king of swords we have four of pentacles reversed the magician three of cups eight of wands so king of swords reversed is i just feel spirit says that if, if it wasn't for this thing that this experience that cracked you open you would not not that you wouldn't have appreciated what is coming into your life but you wouldn't have the level of heart openness in order to nurture it and to allow it to nurture you. And this is why sometimes we hit rock bottom. This is why sometimes we get cracked open. Um, this is sometimes why we experience tremendous loss because number one, nothing is permanent. That's for damn sure. But there's something about higher purpose and higher destiny and our own expectations that we have to let go of because as channels, we, ha we need to be working with spirit closely and there's this level of trust and humble, 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 like humbling ourselves so that we can work in close conjunction and close alignment with spirit so that when we're manifesting things, it's not willy nilly. It truly comes from a space of higher purpose. And sometimes, a lot of times, most times, all the time, <laughs> It's for us to manifest our purpose and to be connected with our purpose, there is a, a strong sense of loss that sometimes has to occur in order to awaken us time and time again. And that is a part of the human experience. And that's why we have to humble ourselves. Having said that, it comes in really fast. Um, so lovely. I love that. Speaking of collaborations, I just connected two people together and they just, just got a text message from them saying that it's a match. That makes me so freaking grateful. Ah, I love that. All right, my loves, let's see what's going on with your lightning bolt energy because that's your kamikaze. All right, so we have the Divine Mother. Unconditional love exists within me. The presence of love is the absence of judgment. Then we have the presence of the Divine Feminine. At the center of everything, there is light. I am that light. Can you guys see this? Whatever, I can see it. 
Then we have the mother of God. I am blessed. My courage gives birth to the divine. This gives me the three of cups magician card and the three of cups and the eight of wands. So truly, before I even look at the rest of these cards, I'm going to look at it. Yep. Truly what I'm getting here is that, whew, okay, I, I just feel this so strongly. Heartache, suffering, a weird winding journey, disappointment, frustrations, complications, hesitations. Um, they crack us open. They crack us open in a way that makes us so tremendously vulnerable. And even in the moment, the pain is so real but it makes us so unconditionally loving beings that is our inherent nature. Um, if we do, if we are not reminded of that, it can be really easy to accidentally float up to a superficial experience, to superficial outcomes, to superficial desires, or to not live a life that is truly full. And it looks like to me that this pile has gone through something that has cracked them open for this sole purpose. And truly, this card that says, at the center of everything there is light, and I am that light. The center of everything is the heart. And that is also what Mary of Nazareth represents, is that unconditional love, that unconditional support and loss that happens because there is a sacrifice that has to be made. And sometimes that sacrifice is our own expectations, our own desires. You have so much feminine energy here, the mother of God, the presence of the divine feminine, and the divine mother. So there's so much that wants to nurture you right now and support you right now and give to you. Give to you, give to you, come to you, bring to you. It's not what you have to offer any more any longer what you have to if anything what you are now called to offer is your courageous spirit to stand up and try to open your heart up once again that's what is asked of you right now and that is a lot to ask of a person but they want you to focus on the light the light is not the external or the positivity within the day the light is to look within what enlightened you into what you understand about yourself and what you want now moving forward without fearing punishment or being rerouted or disappointed once again what is this look we have letting go Ooh. We have letting go and the warrior reversed. This is spirit telling you right now what you can expect and what we want for you is to let go of you being the only one fighting for you. The only one fighting for your desires, especially with kamikaze. That's the person that's always has this bigger purpose and higher destiny that is so much bigger than their, the life of their own life that they go out, fulfill that challenge, go on this destination, go on that journey, drop a bomb or maybe they drop themselves in and that's that's the warrior and as crazy as that metaphor is i essentially feel like this has kind of been your journey as you going the distance and putting yourself out there for this greater purpose this greater destiny and there is a tremendous loss that occurs with that and right now spirit is saying as you move oh my god look in two 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 at the top of this spirit is saying that you don't have to be that great warrior anymore in fact, the kamikaze is going to come in for you and not in a bad way, actually in a good way. So don't expect the worst. Don't expect that. We also have independence and sanctuary. There's something about you guys being able to let go and to be independent of others, to be independent of past addictions, past um, thought patterns that you have released and now you're in this sanctuary space, which is what I was talking about before, for your healing, for you to restore order once again. And then we also have the last card, Mookite Jas Jasper. I think my camera's going to cut out soon, so I'm going to read this as quickly as I can. Adventure beckons. <gasps> so unfurl your sails and let yourself venture forth. Spirit, as spirit assures you that the risks you are tempted to take right now are calculated ones for they are willing to have the conscious universe as your co-pilot mindfully enter into the unfamiliar territory of a healthy, balanced relationship with money and abundance and relationships and healing all wounds and all those things. Banish the fear and set sail. I couldn't make that up if I tried. I love you guys, my little kamikaze warriors of big, big love and light beings. <laughs> 
make sure that you're subscribed to this video because there's plenty more videos where this came from. Subscribe to this channel because there's plenty more videos where this came from. And I'll see you on my next one. Bye. All right, my loves. If you chose the Nectar of Life candle, my pink baby right here on my right, or the Rose Quartz crystal, this is your reading. Um, I think I said this in group one, the red candle, that the apothecary is closed until September 27th because I'm celebrating my, supposed to be celebrating my solar return, um, which is next week, but I've clearly been working. Um, so there's that. If you guys want to mark your calendars for that, because some of you guys, I'm using these candles right now. Of course, they are fixed for specific clients, but, um, for some of you guys, for some of you guys, you're going to ask about it or feel called to go. So mark your calendars for that. This pile, all the piles, I have channeled messages written down for them. I will share with you what I have so far. And anything else that pops up, I will read it out loud to you. Um, but I have a pen here just in case I need to write it down as I'm talking. The first cards to jump out are... Whew, the Wheel of Fortune and the Two of Swords reversed. Then we have Four of Cups, Six of Pentacles reversed, Seven of Pentacles, Three of Wands reversed. Let's talk. And at the base of your reading, we have the Emperor. So let me go ahead and show these to you. We have the Wheel of Fortune. Something that stood out to me just now was the dice rolling at her neck. Oops. And then also we had Two of Swords reversed. And Four of Cups, Six of Pentacles reversed, Seven of Pentacles, Three of Wands. All these cards are reversed so right away what i feel is going on is this is kind of similar to the red candle pile but i there's definitely a distinct difference here it feels like there was some it oh my god that makes a lot of sense i was just about to say that sorry if i scared you um, it's like a, <laughs> a revisit. And as I say that, I literally wrote down rewrite, rewrite, rewind, um, rewrite, rewind. And then I wrote down, write the script, like rewrite the script. And then I also wrote down clairvoyant, falsehood, victim blaming, and I would never leave you. Now, each one of those messages, when I wrote them down, each one of those words, when I wrote them down, they had significant messages that were caught, caught with them, um, or, that, that were not trapped with them, that came with it. So I definitely see a retracing your steps right now. Interestingly enough, Mercury retrograde is about to begin once again, and we are technically in the shadow period as we speak. Seven of Pentacles reversed is about that revisiting, continuing to revisit. Six of Pentacles is revisiting what was given to you and kind of decoding and deciphering <clears throat> is this enough three of wands is i was looking out and now i and i i was expecting so much more again this is giving me so much of like the vibes of the red candle from pile number one i was expecting and needing and knowing that there was so much more out there for me but like is it so now there's this like level of like reconsideration um and doubt essentially doubt and four of cups is a re-emergence technically of something that you are now passionate about that you are now re-interested in now the wheel of fortune is about fate karma destiny and i heard the word decoded when i'm hearing the word decoded this is not about a logical math or science of how things reveal themselves and unfold themselves in your life that's going to always make sense to you now. A lot of times, what I'm seeing, especially with the Two of Swords card here reversed, this is about the mind. It's about calming the mind down as much as you can, putting it on ice. And I feel like with the Two of Swords reversed, what I'm seeing right now is Spirit saying that what you are meant to give to yourself right now or what you're meant to receive is something that is long overdue and that is to channel to channel and to be all inspired by life by the divine by your own magical power once again um 
I feel, and I, I'm hearing Spirit say this to you, there was a seed planted in, in you so long ago, and that seed has been long overdue. It's long overdue, and that's what I actually see you guys going back to, is you feeling powerful again is essentially what's coming through. I really, ugh, and as I'm saying that, you have the Emperor card here. This is you guys really stepping further into your power. This is not only, but this is definitely a big part of that, but this is not only just manifestation and turning the spiritual world into the physical world, you know, and manifesting your hopes and your wishes and your, dream and your dreams. This is about really just owning it all, owning your truth, owning your power, and just really standing up and standing firm and standing solid in who you are and how truly magical and magnificent you are. Um, that's what spirit wants you to retrace your steps with it, is to go back and to refine that seed because then it's like, with that pair of dice around her neck that I'm just seeing that really is the only that's what's really standing out to me with that pair of dice you start to pick up the dice and roll it again and because you're rolling it it's not you're not now moving forward with your life and rolling the dice and being like well am I good luck or am I is this gonna be lucky or I'm waiting for fate to be defined for me there's something about the blowing on it and putting that good luck on it and then shooting it out shooting the duck the duck okay <laughs> maybe that's a specific message for someone but throwing the dice out there and something about it's like the dice let's say if it's supposed to be five like six like two sixes it's like they land one six upright because that was your intention one lands on five and you just look at it and like blow it and it six and it's like look at that I created my own luck and that's what spirit is, is really wanting you to do is is to go back and to re-listen, rewrite, rewind, um, and rehear through words, through affirmations, through speeches, through conversations, things that speak life to you and remind you of you create your own fate now moving forward. Um, they do not, they want you to receive that message. They want you to receive that message. It was a seed that was planted. If you believed it so powerfully before in the past, at the first time you heard it, or if you believed that you were a witch before, if you believed that you were a powerful spiritual healer before, there's something about the experience or something about the service or something about what you've been working on or it's something that you've been doing that made you forget that or made you disconnect from that and spirit is like call the shots call the shots back in again um i heard the word clairvoyant wow this actually makes a lot of sense i heard the word clairvoyant and clearly this is this is a group i, I just feel like that speaks for itself this is a group that's highly gifted and clairvoyance is what i feel that you psychically hear um, and that's why it's really important for you guys to be very mindful about what it is that you hear. And now that I'm saying that, the second two words that I wrote down for you were falsehood and victim blaming. So again, this is what you heard others saying about you or what, you, the, what you've heard others saying about others that somehow you kind of got trapped in it and it kind of accidentally stole your power or because that was their experience or you were connected to them in some way or you were helping them in some way that then trapped you and now that's you kind of secondhand receive that you know and maybe this could be um how others have treated you maybe you got out of a relationship you know through your own karma with the wheel of fortune card here maybe with your own karma that had you kind of second guessing yourself or second guessing your power or maybe there was an aspect of a relationship or an aspect of a job but it feels like you were kind of exchanging your power for something that you needed at that time and that happens to the best of us but spirit is saying that that is a falsehood is to believe that to believe that for any state of, state of being any longer. In fact, it was really important that you felt and heard it um, because it kind of helped you to close out that chapter within your life, especially with the Wheel of Fortune card. But now moving forward, you receive the lesson and it's time for you to open the door. And what do we have here? Page of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles and the World card. 
that is the door for you right now page of pentacles and the world card you have so much that spirit wants to and that's that seed man it's that seed it's that message it's that information that's coming through that is truly going to be the biggest blessing and i just feel you kind of centering yourself and grounding yourself and tapping back into that higher source and just calling all the power of the world into you right now in in anything that you could ever venture out and do moving forward let's look at your cards make it god's something about this card right so make it gods this card says especially when it comes to victim blaming blaming and falsehood if you feel and believe that god or the divine or the source is the creator or the connection to create to manifest the most amazing things in this life and in this world which is a belief that it is that you once had and may have forgotten it can kind of help you to understand and to tap back into that space again of abundance and plenty and beauty and blessing um, and power by realizing that if God is love and you are love, then you can connect back into that source and pull into your experience from the world, from all over, um, from the universe, everything that it is that you need. And knowing that it will be provided for you simply because you are a being of love and light and you are created by the divine or you are created here for a purpose or whatever the case is. So instead of you looking at what you want now or instead of you looking at your purpose as, okay, this is selfish or maybe I'm asking for too much, you start to realize and remember that the reason why you were created here was for a higher purpose and it is the best thing for everyone if you step into that power and fulfill that or step into that power and ask for it or step into that power and receive this or step into this power and ask for it. Did I say that twice? Some of you guys really need to ask for it. Oh my goodness, companionship just jumped out. And the nectar of life is actually the candle that represents a lot of that. It's about the sweetness of life. It's about life being good and easy and beautiful. And it's not about the hardship. It's about joy. It's about being your cup being fulfilled. It's about life being soft with you. All the lessons in your life are not always meant to be hard and calculated and controlling and disciplined and stubborn and tough. There's a lot of good lessons out there that are sweet and gentle and loving and wonderful. And Spirit wants you now to not have to... Yes, that is the level of understanding that it is that you're having right now. This card is the card of understanding. It's this deeper understanding of, your, of the light within your own self. This, this pile and this candle group is very similar to pile number one. So if you're kind of called between both of those, I would definitely go back and revisit that and listen to it. But there's this higher level of understanding that spirit wants to give to you right now. Let's see what we have here. I'm going to leave these cards for the very... Mm. sorry guys look at all this clarity that we have with this sorry my phone is right here by the way I'm getting notifications left and right but um you have so much clarity here you have clear quartz you have selenite you have spirit quartz each one of these are a portal to spirit to hear spirit and understand spirit in a way that is so clear and also, it's a, a like a, a receiver, a receiving line between you, the higher self, the divine source. There's this reconnection when it comes to the divine and stepping back into your power once again in such a very powerful way. And that makes so much sense because also, remember, what the word that... Wow, I just read this too. The word that I wrote for you was clairvoyant but now that i'm seeing it once again i also said i also wrote down i would never leave you i want to tell you guys that i actually started off by writing i will never leave and i was going to say you but spirit was like cross it out i crossed it out and i wrote down i would never leave you so it's this is not about moving forward into the future oh i'm no longer going to leave you it's the fact that throughout your entire life i've never abandoned you i've never left you i never let you go and spirit wants you to understand that anything that is for you simply will not pass you and if things get erupt if things erupt in your life or if things unfold in your life or that there's some type of thing that you don't understand or something that you have to revisit spirit is with you in that moment and providing a higher level of understanding so that you do get it so that you can complete so that you can move forward 
Ooh, my goodness. Wow. Okay, so the first card that we have here is I am ready to heal. I am worthy of the miracles meant for me. And this is the patri patroness of mir miraculous healing. And that's what spirit wants you to receive right now is that truly tremendous tremendous healing it's like the world card everything comes together everything comes to a full circle hey franklin he's like hey guys um the next card is queen of the wilderness the language of the natural world is a frequency of love this is my mother tongue so this is about just being your natural wild self also she connects to the moon and there's something about magic there's something about manifestation that is untamed wild free spicy divinely guided not crazy spontaneous it's divinely guided it's divinely inspired it calls out it howls to the moon and that's what spirit i'm definitely seeing for you guys is you guys are going to be howling at the moon and and really tapping into your power under the light of the full moon which is coming up by the way it's the 18th is the day that it is i'm filming this but the full moon in pisces is going to be on the 20th and it's going to be absolutely miraculous Okay, miraculous healing. So definitely tap into that and call out, call it out. The goddess of never not broken. Everything happens for my liberation. I choose to become only more love. I love that message right there. And that, right, that is a message all by itself. So I don't even want to tweak it. The next one is the diamond hearted Dakini. I see the light in my own darkness. I face my ego beliefs to feel free. And that's exactly what is I'm saying. This is where the understanding is coming from is that this is what spirit wants you to kind of retrace your steps and kind of revisit is the thing that ultimately kind of inspired your journey, inspired your spiritual journey, inspired your fear, spiritual growth and to embrace it without any judgment, embrace it without any harshness, go back to it and rewater that seed and watch how now it's ready to bust out and like grow and just be super magical. This is definitely a magical group, a magical pile. Usually I see magic, the more magical pile towards the end of the reading. I don't like towards the end of the pile, the options, but this pile is really step two is, is really step forward with some strong magnetic energies going on here and potentials if you normally choose if you're the type that's kind of cons consistent and you normally choose pile three the last pile um and you felt called to pile choose pile number two that makes a lot of sense um because i just i truly feel that okay and as i'm saying that moving forward i if you felt called to listen to pile number three um not that i'm trying to guide you guys along into bouncing throughout the entire video but uh Speaking of which, you guys chose the the quartzes. You chose clear quartz, selenite, and also spirit quartz, which I can read these for you too. I don't want to give you a. I don't want to shortchange you. Yep, clear quartz amplification, magnification, and expansion and growth. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Um, yeah, it is the time to focus on growth and expansion. Whatever you appreciate, love, abundance, or anything else will grow simply by you observing it and feeling gratitude for it. Are you paying attention to all that is good within your life? Whatever you focus on is what... Wait, let me see this again. Yeah, you will amplify whatever you focus on, so focus well. Exactly. Next one is Selenite. Let's go ahead and flip right to it. For those of you guys that are wondering what deck this is, it is an Oracle deck by Colette Baron reed who is killing it in the game, um, called the Crystal Spirits, and I got it from a local metaphysical shop within my area. So this card says liquid light, fluidity, flexibility, illumination, and clarity, raising your vibration. That's exactly what it was that I was talking to you guys about, is that level of understanding. When the selenite spirit appears, its message to you is to keep moving past your challenges, your sights, always on raising your vibration to be like liquid light, illuminating fluid and flexible. This message is that whatever the pace of change, you must yield your expectations about how things should be so that you can discover the beauty and how things are evolving. Know that a new perspective can help you to see that, that like liquid light flowing around an obstacle, you have the capacity to move more freely than you might realize. 
nothing can stop you in your tracks essentially and then the last one is spirit quartz which is a beautiful crystal yes connecting to the community universal love harm harmony and cooperation which is definitely giving me the world vibes we heal in partnership because you guys also got companionship here. The strong lifting up the weak, taking turns, supporting each other when this crystal spirit appears. And this is also why I feel like you guys chose this crystal, which is such a sweet one. And also this candle nectar of life is because you really are meant to be supported and lifted up right now. Um, and I just feel like this crystal is just, if you don't already have it in your collection, um, I feel like you should get it. Um, if you can, and if you have this in your collection, you haven't been using it, I feel like you should cleanse it, refine it, cleanse it, and start to carry it again, and then also use it to charge under the light of the upcoming full moon. And also, if you have the Nectar of Life candle, because you've already ordered it from my shop, um, definitely pull that out under the light of the full moon, because it's going to be fantastical, okay? Especially under that Pisces, those Pisces vibes. But of course, these readings are timeless. Your willingness to put the highest good ahead of the wants of your small self is called for now. Reciprocity does not mean keeping a a let a what a ledger, but instead feeling the power of offering kind words and acknowledgments. You have the power to change the lives of others and awaken them to the abundance and love available from the conscious universe who works through all. Even the smallest outreach will make a big difference. This crystal's message is to remember your co-creative powers mm -hmm, and open up to receiving the gifts you hope for. It will also be reminding you that it is a great gift to allow someone the power of giving to you without expectation of reciprocity. For in doing so, they will experience their strength, abundance, and generosity. Listen to your intuition today clairvoyance as you give and receive connecting to the community and a shared desire for healing and replenishment and i love that i hope this meet, uh reading really resonated with this group you guys this is a powerful one hot potato hot potato hot potato i'm sending you guys all my love please make sure that you are subscribed to this youtube channel because there's plenty more videos where this came from and i'll see you in my next one file number three all right, honeybees, if you chose pile number three or the deep waters candle, my rich indigo blue, this is your reading and these are your cards. If you chose the quartz crystal, this is your reading and these are your cards. And of course I have my channeled, written channeled messages here on my right um, that I've already wrote down. And I also have a pen here just in case anything else comes through and I feel like I need to write it down. But for the most part, I typically just kind of speak it out. So like I was saying to the other piles, uh, September 27th is when the apothecary reopens because technically I'm closed as I'm supposed to be celebrating my solar return. And you guys are probably like, what cards are you pulling? I'm remembering all of them. So if you do want the deep waters candle or anything else for that matter, any of your magical needs, just go ahead and um, clock in for that time, September 27th on your calendars. The apothecary will reopen in full. And then also, I know you guys have been asking, the body butters will be back once fall hits. It's it, For those of you guys that don't know, I'm, I currently live in Florida. And um, I just heard the word music. Um, I heard the word music, I heard the word harmony, I heard the word alignment, I heard, what does that mean? Like, why are you showing me that? It's like this, like, rhythmic, um, I heard the word, I just heard the word modality. I think that's a way of doing something. The method in which someone does something. Um, I'm going to write down, it's, what I'm seeing is musical notes. I feel like someone connects through music. Oh, music, music, I just heard music, music's, like music speaks for the soul. Music speaks what the words can't say. Music speaks what the heart feels, but the words can't say. 
something about the strength card is giving me I really want you guys I did not see this at all coming I do have some words written down for you guys um, but I really feel like with this pile there's something about the significance about music um, I feel like it's what you hear from others what they're saying by what they're not saying or it's what it's what is how decode it's like how spirit speaks to you through sound through harmony through the beat that feels very significant it's one thing let's say I'm gonna take this random example let's say you take Adele or Nicki Minaj or Gwen Stefani they could use one of the songs that just came through is Nicki Minaj this time won't you save me um Maybe I could feel myself giving up. It's like if you listen to the lyrics, if someone was to say that, you would be like, okay. But then when you listen to it in a song, it adds more power, it adds more fire to it. Something about the heart is trying to find the strength or the heart finds the strength to say what the soul needs to reveal. It's possible that this pile, and I feel called to like look at this candle, deep waters. So this is truly, this is the deep messages of the soul. This is the deep messages of healing. This is emotions that go so deep. And also now that I'm thinking about it, and now that I'm saying it, blue also rules the third chakra. And it comes from the heart, and finally it gets translated, and it's melodious, and it's, and there's... I'm getting the sense that there are some people, or this is you, that they don't yet have the courage to say everything. And as I'm saying that, I feel like spirit is saying to them, to you, to it, never give up. Don't give up. As I'm saying that, what I wrote down for you guys was hand-me-downs. Um, this, when I wrote this down, what I felt was it feels like, yeah, Ten of Cups. There's a, a lot. There's, I have to, I always, dang, man. There's so much that this heart wants. I'm going to crack this open. There's so much that this heart wants and what spirit is saying. The reason why you want it is because you inherently, instinctively, intuitively know that you deserve more. Um, I feel that this pile is very, very bold and courageous and has gone through especially with the moon card here and the four of swords cards um this pile is the pile that has been working on there it could be very like it's so funny because it feels like mental health or emotional health or emotional balancing or emotional and mental um attention but it literally comes and stems from generational i hate using this word because i'm so done with it but generational curses, generational blockages, that which has already occurred in past lives, you know, things that are just recorded in our DNA, recorded in our genetics. Um, you have really, I heard the word, you've com you've really completed, things have come to a completion. Things have, that chapter in your life has truly ended or it is ending and there's this really strong need for rest before, and this is it, it, there's this now there's this sense that like you know that you deserve the whole world um especially and you you deserve good things nice things regardless <clears throat> you don't have to work for it you shouldn't have to work for it 
But the reason why you are called to kind of work for this is because, again, whatever these DN genet uh, genetic or DNA things that are encoded or are subconsciously encoded, it was really important for you to kind of work through them. And your heart is, your heart source is learning how to speak up, to speak out, um, to receive, to be protected, to be protective. Um, with the word hand-me-downs, it just felt like you literally, this is a pile that says, I don't accept that anymore. I don't accept that. Thank you for thinking of me. Thank you for, but that, the hand-me-downs is like, it's almost like generational. Like, we stretched for as long as we could with what we had because we had nothing. So just accept it. And if you want more for yourself, or if you want more from your experience, if you want more from this life, then you are selfish. You are ungrateful for all of what we've done for you. And spirit is like, you actually deserve a lot more. That's not to say that those who have come from come before you or those that have struggled and those that have worked hard, that they didn't deserve better. It's that's not even about that anymore. Like why are we still why is that still the conversation that we're having? Why can't I just be enough to have so much more for myself? And it's getting me so frustrated because I want to advocate for you. Like I want to advocate for you. And spirit says it's okay to just it didn't say no to those hand-me-downs those hand-me-downs are not just clothes things dishes property whatever it's a way of life it's a mindset it's a, how you communicate to your children how you communicate to your partner how you talk about your friends the activities that you say no to the things that you don't allow yourself and you just are saying I can't reciprocate that energy because I have worked so hard to break free from it. Why are you punishing me because this is where I'm at right now and because I do want more for myself. And there's this level of guilt and hesitation that you actually have to kind of stomach through or force your way through. And spirit is trying to feed feed your heart and feed your courageous strength, feed your strength so that you can continue to carry on with confirmation and clarity and saying you are doing the right thing. It is okay not to look back. Oh. Listen, what I wrote down with hand-me-downs, I wrote down next level. <gasps> oh. oh, it's not here. I was about to freak out. <laughs> I wrote down next level and I wrote, I thought for a second I wrote down wolf, but it's not. My handwriting is trash sometimes. It's actually Wheel of Fortune, like, so W-O-F, wolf, but it, I was like, dog? And like, no, it's Wheel of Fortune. Um, I thought the Wheel of Fortune was here, it's not. But I wrote down next level Wheel of Fortune vibes. So this is a, truly about Wheel of Fortune world cards is what this is really giving you without these cards being here. Clearly I wrote it down. And this is closing out a chapter and, and... And taking your karma, taking your fate, not the fate and the karma of those who have come before you or those that have crossed, that are trying to cross paths with you or those those wires that are crossed. That is not your karma. That is not your lesson to continue. That's not a cycle that has continued to repeat anymore. You have, you have literally leveled up because of the lessons. Thank, thank you. And now we move forward. And there is a disconnection. I, I also wrote down checking out. I wrote the word checking out. This means that some of the things that you were once, I just heard eternally involved in. Holy shit. This is not just in this life. This is this eternal fucking mapping is what I'm hearing. This eternal repeat of, okay, I have to show up in this way. I have to repeat this lesson. I have to help them. I have to do this. I have to accept this. No, you've checked out. You've literally checked out. Why? Because you have focused on your heart's growth. Why? Because you focused on your happiness. Why? Because you fixed it. If it has been fixed, if it has been closed out, then check out and do better and accept better. And this is where I heard, wow, I wrote down transparent with the self and transparent with the situation. So this means that moving forward, this is why spirit, what does spirit want you to receive? The strength to say no. 
the strength to know that you deserve better, the strength to want more for yourself, the strength to see a repeating pattern or cycle or lifestyle or word verbatim, you know, this conversation's lingo. It's, and that's, maybe that's, maybe that's the song. It's a fucking song that is sung so many damn times and it's like, fucking remix that shit. Or write a new song. And being transparent means I see you for what you are. I see that for what it is. I see you for who you are. And because I know that this isn't right, been there, done that, I'm checking out and I'm doing differently. So then I wrote down, what do you want? All the seeds are within you. And there was this really strong message about fertility. Uh, the word is conce conception. Let me tell you a story that I remembered when I was writing this down, but I am that I heard when I was writing it down, but I'm remembering it now. Yesterday, one of my good friends and I went for a bike ride and we were talking about <laughs> our ovaries. <laughs> Not even kidding. Because we were talking about my sister and my sister does um, genetic research for women so that they can have babies, so it doesn't matter. Um, but I was, she was like, how do you feel about that, Jess? And I was just like, it's so weird to me that we were born with all the females, I think. I'm not a scientist, I'm an intuitive. And sometimes I'm a weirdo, <laughs> clearly, by these messages, or these conversations that I'm having. Um, but I was like, it's so fucking weird to me that all the eggs that I'm ever gonna be able to use in my life are in me right now! They're in there, like what? So fucking weird to me. From the moment that I was born to the moment that I die, but they're gonna dry out between that point. Like everything that I could ever need somehow is in there and is just waiting for some seed to plant it and like what and then my friend and i were joking around because she was like you could get pregnant today not that that was the goal but and i was just like yeah for 10.99 even you and it was just a whole conversation the reason why <laughs> i was remembering that conversation the synchronicity of that conversation is the fact that genetically you know, you were wired for certain things and everything that you could ever create life from or everything that can life can be created from was already planted within you. And there's something about singing a new tune, singing a song that to those sleeping seeds within you that they hear it, they subconsciously hear it. And what if, whatever it is that you're creating, you started to listen to music or sing to it songs in order to wake it softly, gently, nurture it back. Well, not work, no, nurture it back into life, but nurture it into this life. And now that I'm saying that, Spirit is saying, have the courage to sing that song to those seeds. And I'm gonna try my hardest to not cry because that is the most beautiful message I think I've ever shared on this entire history of my YouTube channel and my life actually. For me, I didn't know that I needed to hear that, um, but it's so beautiful how spirit speaks. The other thing that I'm hearing is attraction. Ooh. That's right, I wrote down changing. What you were attracted to, what you are attracted to, has changed drastically, and I also wrote down, thank God. <laughs> what you are attracted to, because you want, you, you've healed, you've healed the past, there's no point to relive it, there's no point to walk around in your home and sing that hollow song of misfortune and, and loss and heartbreak any longer. They, you fill this home up with new music, with new memories, with new love, and this home is the heart. Wherever the heart is, is where the home is. So sing life into that, and it, don't let it be this echoing, you know, um, dove that keeps calling out, wanting more, and it's just this echo out to the ocean that just would it ever be heard. No, it is being heard. The seeds of everything that you are going to create have been literally planted within you. Seven of 
pentacles six of pentacles how you give to them is by singing to them and that is a subconscious energetic vibration that lifts it but into life and changes the course of everything now moving forward now i need to know what your oracle cards are i don't know why this one feels tough my my um phone is still popping off right now okay the saint of true freedom love is what sets me free i am married to my own soul this one feels tough because it feels like divorce it feels like separation it feels like brokenness um and then choosing you first and foremost um and why love is what sets me free i'm married to my own soul um this could also be a person who chooses to be independent or to write family write their future their home life on their own terms not on the terms of others not by the terms of others i want to sit with this one for a minute how much time do we have okay judgment this is a level of massive awareness and awakening that literally sets you forth like sets you like i don't say opens the door but gives you the strength to look for the door invest the door build the door open the door whoa five of cups after all that was once lost and there's a lot of blue here again this is all about the throat the words and the depth of feeling profound profound healing also the judgment yeah ten of wands said she took it yeah and justice card king of pentacles nine of wands reverse page of pentacles hangman Seven of Wands reverse, Queen of Pentacles reverse, and also Five of Swords. This is you saying, I, I am not, I am not going to carry this any longer. I, I am aware that I am no longer going to carry this anymore, and that's why I feel like this card feels so tough because it feels like you're abandoning something about doing things differently, or sometimes something about wanting or disconnecting from those who can't do differently for themselves, who don't want to do differently. They're actively avoiding a better path, a better outcome. Um, it feels like you have to say goodbye to them and, and I'm hearing the words, I hear spirit saying that's their prerogative. That's their right to choose. But if they're choosing that, don't you choose that. There's so much more to bring into life and to fight for, for yourself this time. Um, the next card that it is that I'm seeing, oh my God, I love that next one. Okay. I love every inch of my body and I love the women in my life fierce, fiercely. This is literally honoring all that have come before you. And also, all those that are around you now, you even kind of venturing off and doing this for yourself, or you wanting more for yourself, are you writing music too, because this is the poetess, it honors them, even if they are not capable of doing it for themselves, in their lifetime, or whatever. Um, it does serve. It says, I, and I, I love the women in my life fiercely. I love you guys, but also at the same time, like, I, I can't keep putting... A penny into this bank we have the goddess of all that flows I am an ocean of creative energy I give birth to what exists within me I give birth to what exists within me I give birth to what exists within me that's that egg I was talking about I am an ocean of creative what I'm able to create energy healing waters, deep waters. If you know, you know. All right, what do we have here? Cycles. Oh my God, that's the egg. The fledgling, the new beginning. I knew it when I wrote down conception and the seed. All the seeds are within you. What do you want? Cycles, literally the cycles, the 28, 28, fledgling, the new, 
Feminine power too. There's a lot of feminine energy here. It could be 28 days for you to create. Oh my God, aging, intention, and hardship. This is the, these cards, hardship here and aging. It's not so much. This is spirit clearly saying, listen, you have one life to live, and we want you to experience it all. Okay. So having said that, let's break free. Let's let's get this ball going. Set the intention. Create. Manifest. Get out there. Um, destroy. I just heard destroy what tries to destroy you, and by doing that, it's by saying I no longer am entertaining this lower value. I don't know why, but I'm also seeing people doing crafts. Something about doing crafts, like hands-on things, and like singing, listening to music, is really cathartic and healing to your soul right now. And big time, the fact that you chose the deep waters can't handle. Um, the hardship is that which has come before you, and the hardship is what you no longer should be expecting. Set intention, and it will flow. Let's jump into your cards here. We have these two beautiful babies, and of course, one's blue. And we also have this, like, Labradorite here, which is blue but also red. Which one should we start with? Let's start with Labradorite. 29. I feel like there's definitely a message in here. Awakening, uh, awakening to the magic within, mystery and synchronicity, help from unexpected sources. As we go about our healing work, bringing love and light into the dark corners of our hearts and our lives, we can forget that alongside reason and logic is the very practical tool of magic. Do you think of magic that way, or did you buy into the notion that the healing toolbox contains only what can be defined, tested, predicted, and controlled by humans and their current technology. This has something to do with aging. Labradorite is here to tell you to believe in the mystery of how the conscious universe finds ways to support us in healing what is broken, for its ways are magical. You are being called to make a conscious choice to acknowledge the reality invisible to the senses that makes itself known through meaningful coincidences. Pay attention to synchronicities bearing messages from the conscious universe, which is eager. I also see you guys doing a synchronistic messages through song i also am feeling like by what you are attracted to pay attention to what you are attracted to it's like you're singing a new tune you're singing a new song so what you were once be like oh that's a beautiful song now you're like you know what this is not a match for me anymore. I don't like the way that this makes me feel when this used to be my favorite song, which makes sense because of what I was going through in, in that point in my life. But it represents like what you are now opening up to. Also, we have the full moon in Pisces coming up, which is all about that unlimited potential. Listen to the part of you whispering that something small and seemingly insignificant has great importance, just like that tiny egg, that tiny seed, for it is speaking the truth, the truth of magical synchronicities. All right, next one, 52, sodalite. Intentionality, conscious awareness, and awakened state, that's the judgment card, inner knowing and self-confidence, clear expression of intentions. That's what I'm saying. A state of conscious awareness is the key to clearly communicating your intentions to the conscious universe. The message of this crystal is to be fully awake as you make choices, large and small, that will influence your well-being. It's when we fall asleep to our spiritual nature in connection with the universal consciousness that old habits return. Flipping this page. And we forget our commitment to personal transformation. Sodalite spirit has appeared to help you wake up. Judgment card. And notice whether you are becoming complacent and not following through as you promised yourself you would. Now is the time to reconnect with the conscious universe so that sodalite spirit can magnify your awareness, helping you recognize whether your conscious and subconscious in intentions are in sync so that you do not get in your own way as you co-create with what you desire. There's also this big message too about knowing your worth and knowing your value, which is what it was that I said. What do you want and checking out of what does not serve you and saying no to these hand-me-downs because you don't want them anymore. All right, my loves. Look at that. Awaking 
awakeningness and enlightenment that comes through your own practice. Ooh, King of Cups and Four of Cups being like, you know what? I don't want Six of Cups this any longer. What are you going to be mag... I just feel the seed. Ooh. The Emperor and Five of Swords. There's, But the Five of Swords was reversed. It felt like something and the awareness is here judgment card it feels like things that don't feel like they're punishing queen of pentacles is at the root of this reading um you don't want to have to just keep fighting for less or fighting through life with less and spirit says finally they've broken the cycle and shout out to you for being the one to do it I love you guys. I'm sending you guys all of my love. I hope this message resonates. Please let me know down in the comments. I do want to invite you to subscribe to this YouTube channel because there's plenty more videos where this came from. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye.